Carly Beraz has learned that intensive intergovernmental consultations took place between the United States and Armenia at the level of senior officials from a number of relevant departments of the two countries. Let us note right away, the accuracy of the information is indisputable just as we knew about the deliveries of French bastions to Armenia. We are also responsible for providing the following information. Yerevan and Washington have agreed that if Russia exerts pressure or imposes an embargo on Armenia, the United States will provide steadfast support in the following areas. 1. Provide Armenia with the necessary supplies of diesel fuel and energy resources. 2. Provide the Metsama nuclear power plant with nuclear fuel to replace Russian supplies. Rosatom is currently responsible for this. The United States is also ready to provide Armenia with all the necessary technical support to manage and maintain the operation of the nuclear power plant. 3. Provide Armenia, which imports wheat and wheat flour from Russia, with appropriate alternative supplies. The problem of food security has become especially acute for Armenia after the deoccupation of Azerbaijani territories, where the illegal regime grew wheat. 4. If necessary, Armenian internet providers will be provided with an American satellite. 5. The United States is ready to take an on a possible foreign currency deficit in Armenia should Russia start sanctioning Armenia. 6. The Armenian armed forces will be provided with the necessary military equipment, uniforms and weapons, and the country's security agencies, including the police will receive the necessary technical support. From our understanding, the Americans would never give such an offer to a member of the Russia-led blocs out of the blue. One can only guess what steps Armenia will take in return. A complete withdrawal of Russian troops from its territory, termination of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, and Eurasian Economic Commission memberships, or all of the above in one package. Another question is how, when, and what will the Kremlin's response be? So far, Moscow, apart from individual verbal attacks against Pashinyan and broadcasts on state channels, haven't taken any significant action, although the necessary tools are available. The economic growth which Pashinyan's team is proud of is built on financial flows and Russian raw materials. It remains to be seen how long the Kremlin will tolerate open betrayal and the whims of Armenia. One way or another, we are witnessing a reorientation of the entire geopolitics of our region.